Hey guys, Tinty here with this time an iMovie tutorial for you. Um, this just goes through the very basics on how to use iMovie. I wanted to make this because I wanted to show you how I run iMovie because it's really simple for me to edit my vlogs etc. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by clicking on File, Import and Movies and I usually grab stuff from my iPhone so I'm going to do that and I'm going to go to the footage that I took today for my 62nd September where you've got the Healy logo there and I'm going to call this 62nd September that was day 15 I'm going to say copy files in this particular scenario and I'm going to go import and what that's going to do is that's going to paste it or place it in my event library for me to be able to use so that's just doing its little import now copying files and it's only a one minute clip so it should be nice and quick so there we go it's the 62nd September day 15 that I've imported now I actually need to create a project We can do this by going up to File, New Project, and I'm not going to worry about any of the themes and whatnot here. I'm just going to give it a name, so I'm going to call it 62nd September Day 15. And I'm going to leave it at 24 frames per second, widescreen, that seems to be the default, and I'm going to go hit Create. So here we are, we've got our footage down the bottom here, you can see it's one minute long by the time there and I've got the project library up the top here so this is how we highlight footage so I'm gonna I'm gonna play it through first I'm gonna move my mouse to the start and I'm gonna hit the space bar and that's gonna play through it's gonna play through the um, footage if I hit space again it stops obviously and what I can do now is if I click it's going to bring up a yellow box and I can decide how much of the footage that I want so if I pull this through really really slowly I get an audio grab as well as the footage hanging through so if I wanted that much footage I can actually now move my hand over and it's, it turns into a hand icon and I can pull that up to the top here and you can see that the orange bar is what I've selected. So if I want to go and chop out some more footage, I can just do that and paste it. And you can see that the orange bar is my selected footage. So what happens if I make a mistake? Well, I can click up here and I can hit the delete key on my keyboard and that makes it disappear. Or if I decide that I want more of the clip in there, I can actually go to the clip trimmer and you can see I can drag a little bit more of the clip in and I can drag a little bit more out and when I'm done I can click hit the done button and you can see the um, orange bar down the bottom there has grown so what else can we do um, under the video adjustments I can turn up saturation expose it exposure etc I can turn up red gain so I can make it look really really red um, I can change the white balance of the clip or of the video um, for this particular clip you'll see the duration there I can choose the video effect so if I want it hard light I can film grain I can make it look it dreamy romantic it puts a little blur around it heat wave turn it to a negative whoa that doesn't work too well sepia black and white even um, I'm not going to put any of those effects on and I can choose the audio as well so I, if I want to make it sound like I'm on a telephone I can pitch up etc <clears throat> that is there I can also change the speed if I really wanted to so I can say um, oh, that's going to optimize the clip I didn't really want to do that so once the clip has been converted you can see there I've got the option to speed it up up to 800 times I can reverse the clip I can slow it down uh, I'm gonna leave that all alone and I'm just gonna hit done for now 
What else can I do? I can change the audio. So I can change the volume levels. I can fade in, fade out. Um, I can change the equalizer. And that's about it for the particular clip. Now the other cool stuff that I can do is I can actually add music. So if I click on the music button here, I can go and grab music and drop that onto the clip. And you can see it's grabbed, put that over the top. So I can also change the clip adjustment. So I can add an audio effect. Or I can change the volume. So I can change that to 32%. Fade in, fade out, etc. And I also have a clip trimmer as well. So if I decide that I wanted this portion of the song, I can just do this. And what this will do is this will give me just that small portion, and I can now reposition that sound bite anywhere on my timeline. What else can I do? I've got the option of getting photos. This is, this is all imported from iPhoto. I can take a photo and I can chuck it in if I really wanted to. So here's one with me and my cat Oscar. I can put titles in. So if I take this title called Overlap and drop it about here, <coughs> I can change the text. I can do that and if I wanted to change the duration of this particular um, title I can actually just click and drag the edges and that will change the, how long the title actually goes for. <clears throat> so that shows you a little bit on how you can do it and again I can just click and drag that and pull that anywhere I like and that's about it. So once I'm done with my basic stuff, oh, I forgot transitions as well. Let me just quickly show you a transition. I'm just going to grab a fade to white there, drop that in here, and now when I play that through, that will fade to white and bring up my lovely mug. <clears throat> and the last one is you can see we've got a couple of different effects, um, maps and backgrounds and whatnot, so you can actually change all that. I'm not going to go into that because I've never used it before and I never really had to. So I'll close that off. So once we're done with our iMovie, we go back to the project library. What we can do from here is I usually finalize the project. Now this shouldn't be very long being that it's a 60 second clip. Um, what it does is it goes through and creates the 1080p, the 720p, and a couple of other versions. Wow, that is going to take a little bit longer than I thought. And um, that will give you the choice of uploading whichever version you want to YouTube. I'm not going to go through that for the moment. Um, if you don't have the time to finalize and wait, you can actually export. <clears throat> so you right click and say export movie and what this will do is ask you how do you want your movie made up? Do you want it as a mobile format at 480 by 272 which fits iPhone and iPads? Do you want it medium format which fits almost all of them? Large 720p or 1080p? Um, usually you'll find that when I'm exporting, I will export to either large or 720p depending on what I'm doing. And I can actually say, alright, I want this on my desktop for instance, and that will save onto my desktop. I'm not going to actually click export. But once you've done that, you will end up with a um, project on your computer which then you can import into YouTube, which is something that I won't be doing with this one, um, but if you find yourself that you need to rename, you can also click up the top here and I can say day 15, take one for instance, or you can actually rename any of these as well just by clicking in here, <coughs> and you can rename this as well. And that way you can keep your events as well as your 
projects up to date. Anyway, this has been Tinty signing off. Thank you for watching, and I hope you've learnt a little bit about how I edit in iMovie.